Uh, yesterday we were launched under the assumption that there were uh, seven people trapped on one side of a landslide. We were going to um, transport them to the other side to safety. Um, when we actually got to a small airport called Strom in the uh, town of Morton uh, to pick up a sheriff's deputy, uh, he actually informed us that there were seven separate sites, uh, each of which had multiple people that needed rescuing. So uh, it was getting dark, the weather was moving in, uh, and of course we always had a fuel to consider. Um, so we went to, we had him prioritize and went to the most critical of the sites, um, picked up two people who were, um, the flight mechanic spotted them, um, they were on an island, uh, their house had become an island, surrounded by uh, some roiling, raging water, uh, so we just hoisted them to safety and brought them back to the airport. I, I would say that the most difficult part was actually the, the transit to and from uh, the location, um, with weather moving in, the winds kicking up. Um, and there are a lot of uncharted uh, power lines and towers along the route, so we had to take it uh, pretty slow to stay safe en route to the location. Uh, the hoist itself wasn't easy. It was in a narrow canyon uh, with winds gusting in there, um, a lot of clouds and uh, low visibility, and uh, we had to hoist from about 120 feet because of the trees. Two people were in a boat, yes, very small, like a, I don't know if it was aluminum or what or wood, had a small outboard engine. They were sitting in this boat, and the boat itself was inside what looked to be like a shack, maybe a horse corral. Anyway, uh, three sides and a, and a roof. So they were inside that in a boat and water, the main river channel on one side that was you know, brown and rough and all kinds of debris and obviously overflowing its banks and the overflowing water around the other side. So they were completely surrounded on this uh, small island of uh, land by water. Um, five feet of snow where we uh, set our rescue swimmer down on that land. He walked into the shack, saw them in the boat, pulled them out one at a time to a safe area, clear of trees, because it's a heavily wooded area, uh, where we could get the basket down and, and hoist them up. The toughest part was when we were getting, starting to get low on fuel and the night had fallen. So we had some added uh, things to consider as far as risk versus gain. We knew we had people who needed us. But with our fuel state and with the weather, uh, knowing that we needed to return to get gas um, and to rest uh, because of this, our first responsibility is to the safety of our crew and not necessarily to those we're attempting to rescue. That's a tough decision every time and that was hard. And it was, it was really the first time I had had, I had been operational and had to be involved in that discussion. And it was, it was as hard as I figured it was gonna be because we knew people were down there who we, want, who we came out to help and we, we couldn't do it anymore, we had to go home. Those people were in dire straits and I was glad to be there for them, the two people we got.